ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Sin Santana situation. So everybody on social media is talking about it. She's currently trending. This entire situation is a hot damn mess, okay? So what's going on is that basically an old episode of Lip Service went viral today. And on that old episode, you can hear Sin Santana saying that, you know, black men tell her that they prefer Spanish women because basically Spanish women don't have attitudes like black women and that they also cater to Spanish women more as well. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Love them. I just love no. black guys and Spanish Listen. girls together. Listen, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, y'all can yeah. keep the Puerto Rican men. I'm good. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm good oh, on a Puerto oh, Rican men too. I what does that I mean, Sin? Yeah. I do black guys all day. So oh, shit. I did the Spanish, Stephanie too. I did yeah, the Spanish thing. Doesn't guys. work out for me. I'm good. Why? Mm. What's wrong with guys that are Hispanic? I don't know. I think they're too emotional. You don't think I black guys they're are very emotional? overly possessive, me. They are the Puerto Ricans. Oh my god, oh my I got black so guys can be possessive too. Like, yeah, but they they're controlling. They no, Hispanic men you. are very possessive though. Ridiculous. Hispanic yeah. men are way more possessive, and yeah. black guys cater to to us Spanish girls, especially like they. You know what? Let me not even get into uh -oh, that. She's gonna get herself in trouble now. <laughs> the black girls, <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be nah, like, I, I didn't mean it like that, but you know, black girls gonna take it personal. They'll be like, uh, uh. <laughs> nah, but um, I'm good. I, I don't. Like I'm done with the poppies. Too. But for me, even my Latino men, I like them a little bit with with some color, you know, because I like the way the dark skinned dick looks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw what Sin Santana had to say. And then you guys also saw the tweets, the comments, and what folks were saying to her on social media. So once this went viral, she has since issued an apology. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Sin Santana had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Sin says, if I offended anyone, I do indeed apologize. I use the word especially in a way that changed the context of what I was trying to say for some. While I was trying to be sensitive, I use the word personal because I know it's a sensitive topic. I'm not here to attack. I want to be very clear on where I stand. I never bashed a black woman in my life. I never have and never will. It ain't in me. I don't feel it. I improperly used the word, especially in an interview, which made it seem as if I was separating myself and looking down. Growing up, there was always a lot of tension between a Latina woman and a black woman. Why? I never understood it until my recent adult years. I understand it's a sensitive thing, and the things black women endure historically, actually a lot thanks to y'all. I've used the N-word ignorantly most of my life, not knowing that it was actually a bad word and that it was offensive, took the word out of my vocab, and the term Spanish was commonly used in urban culture in the hood, in the ghetto, to describe a Latina, took that out of my vocab. I also never understood the term Afro-Latino, till recently. Your nose is big, your hair is curly and nappy, yes, but I never knew what these terms were. It's not that I didn't identify as an Afro-Latina or black. The truth is I was afraid to offend anyone identifying as such. Y'all can say I'm dumb and ghetto. I've probably done a lot of dumb ghetto shit my whole life. One thing I'm not is not a racist slash woman basher. Every day I try to make a conscious effort to be a better, wiser person. So once again, I apologize because my intent was never to hurt or attack. All right, y'all, so you guys just heard what Sin Santana had to say. You know, and I'm glad that she did own up to it and she did apologize. She didn't just run away. Angela Yee has yet to say any damn thing. So I don't know if she's going to say anything about the situation. But I think, you know, this says a lot. You know, and granted, Sin was a lot younger and we're allowed to make mistakes and grow from those mistakes. But I think there is a big divide, you know, with black women and Latina women, especially like in places like New York and in Miami and things like that. And I think that some Latina women, they do 
get gassed up because a lot of black, you know, put them on this pedestal. They think Latina women are better. You know, they talk about them, you know, in a better light. The sad part is, and I think why a lot of people are hurt and mad is because low key, it's true. Low key, a lot of black men, especially in hip hop, even in the damn pro black community, they tend to big up Latina women. <laughs> Man, I'm from Bogolo. She from Florida. Kiki Palmer, she's great. I have bad her, but you know what I'm saying? I don't really like, I don't really like, um, black girls like that. Some sort of kind of. Taylor Swift, great. J-Lo. Jennifer Lopez. You know what I mean? Cardi B. They tend to think that Latina women are the best of both worlds. They have the hair, they have the skin tone, not too light, not too dark. They're not white women, but then they're not black women. So, so it's like walking this fine line, you know? So I think that's where a lot of the hurt came from when she said that, because I do believe that that's what she was told. She can try and play it off and say that, you know, it was a personal experience and, you know, try and switch the subject and start talking about the N-word and Spanish and all this other shit. But I don't for a second doubt that a bunch of black guys from damn Dykeman and Washington Washington Heights or whatever gassed her up you know what I mean she's a pretty girl you know what I'm saying so they probably told her that she was better than the regular black girls you know her features were better than the regular black girls and it just also lets you know that a lot of Dominican people do not consider themselves black that's why I never understand why black folks are always so quick to try and claim everybody and say you know well they got African ancestry they got a drop of black in them if folks don't want to claim black why force it on them yes we know that Dominicans have African ancestry but most of them do not look at themselves as black okay just from her words her saying black women and then her claiming spanish the same spaniards that oppressed her country it says a lot and that's how a lot of dominicans think okay they tend to separate themselves from other black people darker skinned people african americans and things like that so the entire situation is crazy like i said a lot of people are really upset by this this is an old lip service interview i had heard rumors that she had said something like this when i did a video on her recently but i never really looked into it so I don't know who went back into the damn archives of lip service and pulled out this damn interview but I guess folks wanted to start a new trending topic today so I'm here for it okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning Sin Santana basically saying that black men mainly cater to Latinas and they don't really cater to black women because I guess we have attitudes and everything else which I kind of find ironic because right now she's currently on Love and Hip Hop and the black man that she's engaged to the black man that she bore his child he's basically ignoring her not giving her no dick and living his best damn life okay so i find that really ironic that she said that and this is what's playing out on loving hip-hop going home what are you doing i'm leaving joseph i'm done i want to know how he thinks it makes me feel to practically have to beg my man for some sex so this entire situation is a hot damn mess at the end of the day do i hate sin santana no she apologized hopefully she grows from this hopefully she learns from this and she does better but at the end of the day i cannot be too upset because i know a lot of black men who sit there and big up other races and have no problem downing their own talking shit about their own women you know what i'm saying clowning their own women belittling their own women all the while uplifting Asians, white women, Latinas, and everything else. So honestly, I can't say that I'm shocked that she said that, and I honestly 100% believe that some black man told her that. Now, that isn't to say that all black men do this, of course. You know, you have black men who love black women, you know what I'm saying, who support black women, who respect black women, but unfortunately, those men are now starting to be a minority, and we see so many more black men out here disrespecting black women and, and talking down to their own women and things like that. We've had so many rappers come out and talk bad about especially dark-skinned women and say they want to have nothing to do with them and everything else but then in the same breath big up other races and like I said if you date interracially that's your business it's nobody else's business but you don't have to down your own race just to big up the person that you're dating it's not that serious so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning Sin Santana and the comments that she made concerning black women and black men so let me know what you guys think about this entire situation all right deuces Miss Gay! <laughs>
Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.